Good morning. I'm Aiden. Good morning. I'm Christine. We are Fresh and Farm. Thank you for joining us this morning for A Song and a Snack. Elevens is A Song and a Snack at 11. Don't forget the snack or the song. What you got going on there, Christine? No one's ever going to guess what we're having as our snack. No one? No one. Not even people that have come to visit us for a week. For the last visit. two weeks, yes. Um, <laughs> Does it involve big surprise. cucumbers? We have cucumbers. Big surprise, cucumbers. Lots and lots of cucumbers. I want to remind everyone that I planted two plants and I planted them late. And um, we have gotten cucumbers. Yeah, we got cucumbers going on. So uh, last week I cooked them. I hope some of you followed suit and tried that out if you have an abundance. Uh, and everybody said, oh, why don't you make uh, pickles, which I did. I made hot and sweet. Good pickles. And I, I will make more. And, uh, and also, why don't you make tzatziki, which I can't say, but I can make, and I did. I have. But nobody said, then what about raita, which is uh, the Indian version of your cucumber and yogurt. Thingy. I have no idea. So I think that um, the only real difference between that and the Greek version is the spices. And so uh, what I like to put in my Indian version of cucumber and yogurt is cumin and what's that other stuff? Coriander. I should remember the coriander because we actually grow it. There's just a hummingbird up here. Hi. That little trippy noise with the hummingbird. Sorry, the coriander, yes. Yes, uh, so I've got um, yogurt in here and I've drained it, get the watery bits out. Now I've got cucumber, there's already garlic in there, there's some lemon peel, and this is um, cumin. Lots and lots of cumin. It's not a lot, it's like not even a quarter teaspoon. No. Don't lie to people. That's the end of the cumin, huh? I have more. I just have to grind it. I have seeds. Got it. Hey, if you have not gotten whole seeds and ground your own spices, it's a life changer. I mean, it's a pain in the butt, but it tastes really good. It makes the house smell good, too. So, yeah, we're on the front porch, Faith. And yes, Diana, we like cucumbers, fortunately. Otherwise, I don't suppose we would have grown them. Wow. I mean, do people grow things they don't like? They do. We had a neighbor who used to grow all sorts of stuff, and he didn't like vegetables. He just liked, he liked gardening. gardening. Um, his wife liked vegetables, though. But yes. um, yeah, but I don't think I'm my favorite vegetable, which is why I only did two plants. Who knew? Who knew? No one knew. Okay, so there we go. I'm gonna mix it in there. I feel like more coriander is required, but. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and put it in there. So what I like to do, though, as opposed to just making it and eating it, is let it sit for a few minutes just so the spice kind of sets into um, the yogurt, you know. So you get it in every bite and what? I'm just reading comments. First of all, Diane and Phil, happy anniversary. Glad you got oh, to spend it in London. Very happy cool. Happy anniversary. Afternoon tea for lunch. Um, and then, uh, hey Laurie, and then Dan says, uh, they have rhubarb, which he doesn't like. Yeah. Came with the house. Oh, it came with the house. Yep, there we go. We got garlic with our house. And then we didn't know, so we planted more. We have a lot of garlic, uh, Good which, point, which you would not like. Sorry. Kate, uh, so, Kate says, shouldn't we have cucumber sandwiches for 11s? I did that once. We cut the crusts off? Like, not really, but I did put cream cheese on them. Speaking of cheese. afternoon tea. Yes, very. So but anyway. it's 11 a.m. here, so. Yeah. So uh, we'll be having that uh, a little bit later. Okay, there's. A go wasp. Away. Is a, a Hornets. wasp? No, it's just a wasp. It's one of those little black wasps. We have a lot of those. They hang out on the grass in the morning and they just go around and pick up bits of water from the dew. And I'm also having mm. um, cold tea, cold herbal tea. As our neighbor, our former neighbor, would call that. Um, You're all twisted there. I know. A cold cup of sadness. As opposed to a hot cup of sadness. Good 
Good morning, Russ. We're on the front porch. Oh, and hi, Lori. I heard that you were here, and um, we were we get to see you on Saturday. We're going to be in Havre de Grace, Maryland, at the State Theater on Saturday. It's an afternoon show, so if you or any of your friends should be in that area, um, come see us. Where's Cloudcroft? Uh, at West. Familiar. Familiar Cloudcroft. New Mexico? That's where Alice is. I'm going to say New Mexico, because that's what it sounds like. I have no idea. <laughs> I thought it was somebody's house that we knew. Oh. They called it Cloudcroft. I could be wrong. I don't know. No idea. You can explain if you want, Alice. So we are playing you um, a not new song, but probably new to you. We wrote this almost a year ago. Pretty close. We yeah. did a, a writing retreat in Scotland. Remember the Highland Cows? Uh, and we, uh, we went there to finish up a lot of songs that were in progress and to sort of... Um, you know, tweak them and make, make our new songs better, and we worked on none of that, and instead wrote a brand new song about um, all the walls that are uh, all, all over uh, the UK. <clears throat> Ready? Kind of. <clears throat> Get a little pollen in here, whatever. Ahem. Maybe performing outside today was not the best idea. Yes, it was. It's a perfect idea. It's humid. Ready?
Apparently, 11 o'clock is car hour. Everybody's going to 11s at the Somewhere bodega else. up the street. Yes. Okay, maybe. Which we haven't been to, and we should. We should. They have tamales there that must be good because they're almost always out. And almost always packed with people. Yep. Yeah. I, I don't know what. There's no trip on that. Um, I don't have naan out here, but if you'd like to try this in Tamale, it doesn't have salt in it yet because I had salt in at the end. You could, you could you know, use the spoon, I don't care. It needs salt. Yes. But other than that, it's very good. Yeah. Oh, it's creamy and lovely and very and summery. bright and light and summery. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, so we were out back a couple of weeks ago, and this is out front, <laughs> clearly. Clearly. Uh, we have a, a maple here, dogwood, spirea, some really sad looking roses. We've got stuff blooming down here. Hostas we can and, show people. Hostas and snapdragons. Hosta, blueberry. Snapdragon, bumblebees. Yeah. Yay for the bumblebees. That's a relatively decent yard. Yeah. Not bad. And there's more over that way. You know, as one would expect. House across the street. Yeah, it's it's a lot um it's a lot busier than our old street. It's super, super different from where we used to live and two cars a day. And charming and one of which was like charming and wonderful in its very own way. And we're gonna we're enjoying it here. But the weather is fantastic. It was when we got up this morning, 63 degrees. No, it was colder than that. Well, we might not have gotten up at the same time. <laughs> when I got up, it was 58. 58 degrees. Under 60. It's going to be a cool few days, and then it's going to get hot again. Okay, well, it's but August. It's humid. Yeah, it's humid. There was mist all out across the, the grass this morning, across the yeah. way. Yeah, our grass is super wet in the morning, so it's, it's humid here. There's all those mm -hmm. wasps. Look at them. I see them. So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess we have to go in and get some some um, naan and have our snack. Dan says, could work with forager cashew yogurt. Leave out the garlic. Well, you know, we'd have to leave out the cashew. <laughs> that's one of those things. Yeah. All right, well, hey, we're glad you joined us this morning for Elevenses, or whenever you're watching. Thanks yes, for watching. Thanks for watching. And you know, whenever it is, you're welcome to have a snack. Exactly. No, no bad time for snacks. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here with us every week. We hope that we will see you live. We are playing in Maryland this Saturday. We're playing in South Carolina next Saturday. Five miles from our old house. Five miles from our old house, that's right. Uh, and maybe we'll see you in one of those places. And if not, We'll see you here next week. I'm Christine. I'm Aiden. We are Friction Farm. Have a great weekend. See ya. Does it need more cucumbers?